Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. Hope all is well. And we're going to bring you some 2nd and 10 football. Our, that should be 132 team. Was it 128? Well, this is our tournament of non-NFL teams, and I think I wrote the wrong number there. I believe it's 132 teams, and I will fix that later. Tournament, and in, this is our 14th game of round one. We play as the weaker seed, or the weaker team, and this is a tough matchup. It's a blind draw every round, and it's a tough matchup for these two teams. The 1991 London Monarchs, out of the World League of American Football, who were 9-1, and one. I think they won the championship that year, taking on the 1949 Cleveland Browns with Otto Graham, who were 9-1-2 and two out of the All-American Football Conference. They would merge with the NFL, or those teams, the Browns, 49ers, and Colts went to the NFL. But at that point in time, they're a non-NFL team. The Browns are four-point underdogs at home, so I will be playing as the Browns. So far in our first 13 games, I am 13 and I am, excuse me, I am three and ten as we play as the weaker team. We have a good shot of winning here with Otto Graham and the 49 Cleveland Browns. Surprisingly, I thought I'd be playing as the London Monarchs, but again, the Monarchs coming into Cleveland, four-point favorites. And you can see from this statistics. Why? Though I would favor Cleveland at home, but I'm happy to play as the Browns. So the AI will control the London Monarchs. And I will be the Cleveland Browns, the old white helmet, and pretty much no face masks. I think Otto Graham wore like a plastic, clear plastic uh face mask sort of just across where the mouth area is Cleveland has won the toss of the coin and we elect to receive so Phil Alexander will kick off for the Monarchs Marion Motley and Ed Susterich are back don't have a picture for Susterich Here's the kickoff. Ball game on its way from Cleveland Municipal Stadium. And it is a touchback as it goes through the end zone. 55 degrees, partly cloudy, winds 5 miles per hour. So it's Motley and Dub Jones along with Special Delivery Jones in the backfield. Graham under center. The ends who play very tight to the line of scrimmage, obviously. It's like a dual tight end set. Uh, Max Speedy and Dante Lavalli. We're going to go play action pass on first and ten. To Speedy Mac. First and 10 from the 20, play action pass. London, doubling speedy, play action, Graham's gonna pass, Graham flushed from the pocket. He's hit, but he doesn't go down. He takes off running, and he'll pick up eight yards as he's pushed out of bounds. So Otto Graham picks up eight yards on the scramble for the 1949 Cleveland Browns. Second and two. It's going to be a handoff to Marion Motley on second and two. London in a deep passing zone. Motley with the ball finds an opening. Brown makes the First tackle, down. but it's a gain of six for Marion Motley. First down for the 1949 Browns on their 34. Play action fake on first and ten. Going medium long to Dante Lavalli. 
Monarch, standard defense, King Jones on the run. Fake handoff to Jones, Graham looking. He's throwing to LaValle. LaValle is open. But Brown knocks the ball away. Good job by Marlon Brown. By the Monarchs, second and 10 from the Cleveland 34. Marion Motley will get the handoff on second and 10. Again, London playing a deep pass zone. Motley should have a lot of room. Makes a cutback. Only picks up four. Monarchs quickly swarm to Marion Motley. That's going to leave third and six from the Cleveland 38. Screen to Marion Motley on third and six. London expecting pass, playing bump and run coverage. Graham looking, setting up the screen to Motley. Motley catches it at the 35. He's hit. The ball comes loose. It's at the 41. It's a pigskin pileup. Who has the ball? And Lou the Toe Groza comes away with it for the Browns. They will pick up three yards, but that leaves fourth and three. Good job by the Monarchs' defense. And Horace... Gillum will punt for the Cleveland Browns. Brinson back for the London Monarchs. It's a low snap. Fielded cleanly. It's blocked! It's blocked! Derek Dodge gathers up the loose ball at the Cleveland 30. He's racing for the Cleveland end zone. And he is in! The Monarchs block the punt and go in for the touchdown. Derek Dodge with a 30-yard return after the block punt. 6-0 Monarchs, I guess. They are justified for being the four-point favorites. Alexander for the extra point, 94% chance of making it. It is up and good. Holy cow. The Monarchs coming to Municipal Stadium. They look to advance in this tournament. Take a quick 7-0 lead with the block punt for a touchdown. Alexander to kick off. Motley and Susterich back deep for the 49 Browns. Flag on the play. Flag on a play. The kickoff went out of bounds. Kicking team. So the kickoff goes out of bounds. It will be a five-yard penalty. And they will repeat the kick. So back up the Monarchs five yards. Here's the kickoff. Sustrick bobbles it, and he maintains it. But a horrible return as he is brought down at the Cleveland 11. First and 10 for the Browns. Actually, on the Cleveland 17, it was an 11-yard return. So again, Motley, Jones, and Special Delivery Jones are the three-headed monster in the backfield for the Browns. Speedy Mac, Dante Leve Le Lavelli, I said Lavalle last time. Lavelli are the ends tight to the line of scrimmage. It's going to be a handoff to Special Delivery Jones on first and 10 from the Cleveland 17. Monarchs playing deep zone pass. Special Delivery only picks up two. Flag on the play. Personal foul. Defense. A late hit on Special Delivery Jones. We'll give the Browns a first down as they tack 15 yards on. We will accept. Browns down 7 nothing. if you're just joining us. Monarchs blocked the Browns punt and rushed it into the end zone for a touchdown. 11.49 to play in the first quarter. The winner advances. The loser, well, you're out. Graham under center. Motley will get the handoff on first and 10. Again, the Monarchs playing a standard passing zone. Motley up the middle only for one yard. Good job by the Monarchs smothering Marion Motley. Second and nine. Second and nine. Draw to Dub Jones on second and nine for the Browns. London standard set, double, co double covering speedy. Here's the draw to Dub Jones. He'll pick up nine yards. They're going to measure. They bring the chains out. And it's going to be third and inches. Third and inches for the 49 Browns. 
Otto Graham calls his own number on the sneak. It's a run blitz for the Monarch. Graham rolls out, and he'll pick up four. So he saw them coming up tight to the line of scrimmage. He calls off the sneak. It was a uh, rollout for Graham. Picks up four yards, and the Browns move the chains. First and 10 at their 47, 9.39 left in the first quarter. 7-0 Monarchs. They scored on a block punt. Now let's rest Motley, Jones, and Special Delivery Jones. Let's bring in Adam Lee, Susterich, and Bodecker. Let's rest Lavelli. And we'll bring in Horace Gilliam. It was Gilliam who did the punting, and it got blocked. So first and 10 from the Cleveland 47. Play action fake. We're going to go medium pass to Horace Gilliam on first and 10. London playing a standard zone. Graham fakes the handoff to Adamley. Graham in trouble. He elects to take off running. And he'll only pick up a yard he avoids the sack picks up a yard second and nine an excellent pursuit by the monarchs defense second and nine from the cleveland 48 play action pass they're going over the top medium long to the running back bill bodecker on second and nine all-purpose defense for London, doubling speedy. Play action to Sustrick. Medium, long pass to Bodecker. A little too long. Graham led him a little too long. Bodecker did have a step on the defense. So it's third and nine. Motley, Dub Jones, and Special Delivery Jones come back in. Dante Lavelli comes back in with Speedy Mac. Third and nine from the Cleveland 48. We're going to go... Medium long to special delivery Jones out of the backfield. Third and nine. London, extra defensive back, soft coverage, doubling Speedy and Lavelli. And Jones is open. Graham got him at the London 33. He's immediately tackled, but it's a gain of 19. Good job by Otto Graham. And special delivery Jones as he delivers the first down for the 1949 Cleveland Browns. 8.21 left in the first quarter. The 1991 London Monarchs up 7-0. Speedy Mac goes out. Horace Gillum comes in. Graham under center. Play action pass. Medium long to Dub Jones out of the backfield. Deep zone pass defense for the London Monarchs. Play action to Motley. And it is a sack of Otto Graham. Danny Lockett gets to Graham. He did fall for the play action fake. And that's going to be second and 19 for the Browns. Ball spotted at the London 42. Under eight to play. Draw to Marion Motley on 2nd and 19. Extra defensive back for London. They're playing pass, doubling Gilliam. Here's a draw to Marion Motley. Motley has the ball, and he'll pick up 7 yards before he's tripped up. 3rd and 12 from the London 35, 6.59 and counting. In this very big tournament game. 3rd and 12 after Motley picked up 9 on the draw. Draw to Marion Motley again. Extra defensive back. They're looking short pass. Wilson blitzing. Gillum is double teamed. Here's the draw to Marion Motley. Motley runs into the blitz. He only picks up 2. 
fourth and ten from the London 33. Paul Brown. We can, we're not going to pick up much yards on the punt. Grows to only a 12% chance of making the field goal from here. If we punt, we can try to pin them back. Fourth and ten. We could take a penalty. Backs us up. You know, we're going to punt. Fourth and ten, we're going to punt. Delay a game. Let's we'll go delay a game. The Browns let the play clock play clock run down. And that's gonna back them up. Delay of game. Offense. The London Monarchs, Jake Cruz. How you doing, my friend? Out of the World League of American Football. And now we will punt and safe punt. We'll try to knock it out of bounds. Horace Gilliam had his first punt blocked. Gilliam hoping to drop it inside the 10, and it rolls dead at the London 6. Good job by Gilliam. So the Monarchs go on offense for the first time. First and 10 at their 6. 6.02 left in the first quarter. Monarchs scored again on a blocked punt. So Stan Gilbaugh is the quarterback. Alexander, the lone running back. Three wideouts, John Horton, Dana Brinson, and Tony Sargent. The tight end is Pat Davis. We're going to play zone. And... That's it. We're going to stick with our two linebackers. First and 10 for the Monarchs. Cleveland in a pass zone. It's a give to Alexander in a draw play. And Alexander is brought down after only a one-yard gain. Good job by the defensive line for the Browns. Second and nine on the London seven. Now it's Alexander and Garrett in the I formation backfield for the London Monarchs. Brinson and Horton are your wideouts. Davis is the tight end. We're going to play standard pass coverage, shadow the quarterback. Man-to-man -man defense for Cleveland. It's a handoff to Jeff Alexander. He finds a little gap, but quickly closed by Dub Jones as he's playing both ways. Only a gain of one. Good tackle by Dub Jones. Third and eight for the Monarchs on their eight. Three wide out set for London. Horton, Brinson, Sargent, Pat Davis, the tight end. Judd Garrett, the lone running back. Garrett, a good receiver out of the backfield. Third and eight. We're going to go standard man-to-man -man coverage, extra defensive back. Shadow Stan uh, Gelbaugh. And we're going to double... Um, we're not going to... Oh God, we should double Horton. They throw a f screen and we double Horton and Brinson. We're doomed. But we're going to double Horton and Brinson with our extra defensive backs. Third and eight. Gelba under pressure. He's going to take off running. He gets to the sideline. He has a little bit of room. And he'll pick up 14 yards, and that moves the chains for the London Monarchs. So the Browns couldn't sack Stan Gelba. And he lets his feet do the talking. First and 10 for London at their 22, 407 left in this first quarter. If you're just joining us, London scored, and I'll show you quickly, on a blocked punt, which was recovered by Alexander. And he ran 30 yards into the end zone. First and 10, I formation for the Monarchs. It's Alexander and Garrett are the backs. Horton and Brinson, the wideouts. Davis, the tight end. We're going to play all-purpose run on first and 10. Eight men up in the box for Cleveland. Gelba 
Looking for Garrett on the circle pass. In... No, he makes the catch. Dodge is the first would-be tackler. And he picks up seven. The ball spotted at the London 29, second and three. Nice catch by Garrett. So second and three. We're going to play run defense on second and three. Again, Cleveland looking for the run. Gelba, usual drop. Looking for Horton on a corner route. Horton hauls it in at the 45. He crosses into Cleveland territory. It's a gain of 37 before Horvath tackles him. And the Monarchs mean business. First and 10 for London at the Cleveland 34. The Browns defense needs something big here. I formation for the Monarchs. Garrett and Victor Muhammad are the backs. The wideouts Horton and Brinson. Pat Davis the tight end. We're going to blitz our linebacker. Standard coverage on first and 10. Looking pass. Here comes the blitz. It's Adamly. Gelbaugh drops back the pass. Shallow crossing pattern. Hauled in by Garrett at the 31. He'll pick up nine as Cliff Lewis brings him down. Second and one from the Cleveland 25. Monarchs doing damage right away. Second and one. It's a run blitz for the Browns. Here come the linebackers. Gelba going to pass. Medium pass to Horton. Pass is just out of his reach. It'll be third in inches. So the run blitz turned into a pass blitz. Gelba threw a little quicker than he wanted. Third and inches. Two tight ends set now for the 1991 London Monarchs. The lone wideout, John Horton. The backs, Garrett and Muhammad. We're going to go short yardage. Short yardage. We're looking for the run on third and inches. Garrett gets the call, and he goes blasting through the line, burrowing for three yards. The Monarchs keep the drive alive. First and ten at the Cleveland 22. 131 left in the first quarter. Muhammad and Flanagan are your backs. Horton and Brinson, your wideouts. Pat Davis, the tight end for the Monarchs. We're going to play a standard pass zone on first and ten. Gelba in the pocket. Quick toss to Brinson. Incomplete. Second and ten from the Cleveland 22-123 left in the first quarter. Again, we're going to play a standard pass zone. Against the I formation. Alexander and Flanagan still your backs for the Monarchs. Monarchs going to throw. Looking for Horton. And Horton has it. And it's a gain of 19 as Otto Graham makes the tackle. Browns old school. They're all playing both ways. First and goal from the Cleveland 3. Graham saves the touchdown for the moment. Gelba, hot as a pistol. Cleveland needs a turnover here. We're going to go short yardage. And we're going to key Jeff Alexander. Cleveland playing for the run. They're keying Alexander. Flair to Garrett. And it's picked off! Picked off by the Browns! Les Horvath returns it one yard. But what a huge interception Oh, Nelly. The London Monarchs got a little cute there. And in a beautiful drive comes to an end on a horrible Seattle Seahawks type decision. <laughs> they don't try to pound it in. A huge interception by Horvath. Cleveland is in dire straits, though. First and 10 at there, too, but they'll take it. So the Browns defense comes up with that big play. Otto Graham will run on first and ten. London playing for the run. Watching Jones flag on the play. Start. Oh, my God. Offense. Well, you can't back us up too much. Half the distance to the goal line. False start on the offense. Browns fans don't like that. First and 11 from the Cleveland one.
Play action fake. Medium long to Speedy Mac. All purpose defense for London. King Motley. Play action to Dub Jones. Graham looking for Speedy Mac. And the ball is knocked away by Harvey Wilson. Graham couldn't get the get the pass there. No world's worst gamer. Not special delivery Jones, the wrestler. I do not believe. So second and eleven. Second and eleven. Play action fake again, and they're going to Speedy Mac again on 2nd and 11. London, soft man-to-man -man coverage, Keying Jones. Play action, Graham looking for Speedy Mac. Mac at the 17. He'll pick up 16 yards. First down, tackled by Derek Dodge. That ends the first quarter. 7-0 Monarchs. We change sides. First and 10 at the Cleveland 17 for the Browns. We're going to bring in Bill Bodecker, Ed Susterich, and Tony Adamley. Lavelli will go out. Horace Gillum will come in. Play action fake, medium long. To Bill Bodecker on first and ten. London showing a blitz. They're keying Bodecker. Play action. Bodecker on the post pattern. And Shannon knocks the ball away. So it's going to be second and ten. Good defense by the Monarchs. Second and ten. Oh, Mac Speedy. You were right, Tribes fan. I said Speedy Mac. Dyslexia is a wonderful thing. Yes, it's Mac Speedy, not Speedy Mac. Uh, obviously, I'm calling everyone else's names correctly. Mac Speedy. You gotta love these names. They're awesome. Thank you very much, TribesFan879. Check out that wonderful YouTube channel. 7 nothing Monarchs, second and 10 for Cleveland at their 17. Bo Decker, Sustrick. Adam Lee go out. Special Delivery Jones, Dub Jones, and Marion Motley come in. Gillum to the sidelines. Dante Lavelli back in with Max Speedy. As so correctly pointed out by Tribes Fan 879. Second and 10. Second and 10. Medium pass to Dub Jones out of the backfield. Standard zone for the Monarchs. They're looking past. And that play is broken up by the Monarchs. Tipping it was Irving. That's going to leave third and ten now. Third and ten for Cleveland at their 17. Screen to Dub Jones on third and ten. Standard man coverage for the Monarchs. Extra defensive back. Wilson is blitzing. Single coverage on everyone except Speedy. It's a poorly thrown pass. On the screen, and it's easily knocked away by Shelton Thompson of the Monarchs. So Otto Graham struggling here early on, 4th and 10. Gillum will punt. Last time he punted near his end zone, it got blocked and ran in for a touchdown. Back deep, Dana Brinson. Will the Monarchs come after it again? Gillum with plenty of time this time. The punt is sailing. And goes out of bounds at the London 27. That is a 56-yard punt by Gillum. And a no return by the Monarchs. First and 10 for the Monarchs at their 27. Stan Gilbaugh, the quarterback. Alexander and Flanagan, the running backs in I formation. Horton and Brinson, the wideouts. And they have, their tight end is a blocking tight end. First and 10. We're going to play all-purpose defense. And we're going to double Horton on the all-purpose defense. We're looking pass. Horton's doubled. It's a handoff to Flanagan. Brought down by Adamley. 
Only a three-yard gain, second and seven. Good job by the Browns' defense. 13.50 left in the first half. So it's second and seven. It's Alexander and Garrett now in the I formation. Pat Davis comes in at tight end. Second and seven. We're going to play zone on second and seven. Pass zone. It's a run to Jeff Alexander. And he is brought down. No, he stays on his feet. He spins away. And he'll rumble for eight yards. Oh, Cleveland had him for a loss or a minimal gain. But Alexander spins away, kept his legs a-moving, and he picks up eight. First down for the Monarchs at their 38. Cleveland shooting themselves in the foot here. Flanagan, the lone setback. Gelbaugh under center. Horton, Brinson, and Sargent, your wideouts. Davis is the tight end. First and 10. We're going to play standard coverage. Shadow the quarterback. We're playing pass. Everyone mano y mano. Flanagan gets the call up the middle for five yards. It'll be second and five for the Monarchs from the London 43. Big Polly, Big Polly's World of Sports Sims has joined us here in Cleveland. Check out that wonderful YouTube channel. Enjoyed his wrestling that he put up yesterday. I enjoyed Dave Little's wrestling a little while ago. All right, second and five. Again, the Monarchs stay in that three wide receiver set. Flanagan goes off. Judd Garrett comes in at running back. Second and five. We're going to blitz a linebacker. Have an extra defensive back. And we're going to double... Horton... And Brinson. Oh, we can only double one because we're, we're going to double Horton. Here comes the blitz. It's Adamly on the blitz. Doubling Horton. Gelbaugh back to pass. Looking for another receiver. No. Nope. And he'll throw to Horton. Did he make the diving catch? They say yes. Gilbaugh got hit as he threw. He looks hurt. He struggles to his feet. They signal first down. Cleveland did not think it was a legal catch. Gilba threw into the double coverage anyway. And the Zebras called it a legal catch. First and 10 for the Monarchs at the Cleveland 48. 11.51 to play in the first half. 7 nothing Monarchs on a blocked punt. <clears throat> Alexander and Garrett, I formation. Brinson, Sargent, your wideouts. Pat Davis, the tight end. We're going to play all purpose. And we're going to key Alexander on the run in all purpose. Gelbaugh looking to throw. No, it's a draw to Garrett. And he is tripped up by Horvath, who had the interception near the goal line. And that's a, only a two-yard run by Garrett. <clears throat> Second and eight for the Monarchs. <clears throat> Excuse me as I take a sip of water. Gelbaugh and the offense come to... Oh, boy. <clears throat> a bit kerpleft. Here we go. I formation. Second and eight. Okay. <clears throat> Garrett and Muhammad are the backs. Brinson, Sargent, the wideouts. Pat Davis, the tight end. We're going to hit the mic for a second. And that's a little bit better. Here we go. Hopefully the mic's back on. And it is. Second and eight. We're going to play a standard zone. <clears throat> Extra defensive back. It's a run to Victor Muhammad. Saban on the tackle, but Muhammad picks up eight. 
and that's Lou Saban, go on to be an NFL coach <clears throat> for several teams, the Broncos, the Patriots, and the Buffalo Bills. So first and 10 for the Monarchs on the Cleveland 38. We're going to play standard zone once again against this I formation. Gelba moves back in the pocket. Medium pass to Jarrett. Jarrett hauls it in at the 34. Horvath tackles him at the 27. But they pick up 11 yards and they continue to move the chains. As Big Polly's World of Sports says, Mike Adamley's pop playing well. Under 10 to play in the first half. Monarchs threatening to increase their 7-0 lead. Cleveland needs a big play here once again. It's going to be an all-out blitz. Standard pass coverage. First and 10 for the Monarchs. Here comes everyone, including the kitchen sink. Gelba. It's a draw. Muhammad, he'll pick up five. Slowed up by the blitz. Second and five from the Cleveland 22. Eye formation for the Monarchs. Muhammad, the up back, Garrett behind him. Horton and Sargent, your wideouts. They have a blocking tight end. <clears throat> We're going to play run defense on second and five. Cleveland up in the box. Sargent running a corner route. Otto Graham leaps, but Sargent comes down with the touchdown. Gelba to Sargent, 22-yard touchdown pass. And it is 13-0 Monarchs. Otto Graham went up high, but could not get to the ball, and Sargent comes down with the TD. Alexander for the extra point. He's almost automatic. The kick is up and good. 14-0 Monarchs. <clears throat> Here in the second quarter, 9-10 to play in the first half. Alexander to kick off. Dub Jones and Ed Susterich back deep. Cleveland needs something big here. Jones has some room. Jones will pick up a good return. He's tackled at the Cleveland 26, so that was a 24-yard return. Motley, Dub Jones, Special Delivery Jones are the three-headed monster in the Cleveland backfield. Max Speedy and Dante Lavelli are the ends very tight to the line. Play action fake over the top to Max Speedy on first and ten. London, extra defensive back, doubling Speedy and Lavelli. Play action fake, Graham looking, looking, looking. He still throws to Max Speedy. Flag on the play. Speedy hauls it in at the 42. What a catch. A one-handed grab by Speedy. Flag on the play, though. Oh, come on. Holding on the Browns nullifies a 16-yard reception by Max Speedy. And the booze raid down here at Cleveland Municipal Stadium. So first and 20. Screen to Max Speedy on first and 20. Cleveland setting it up. Graham under pressure. And Graham is sacked by Mike Renna. Unbelievable. These Monarchs have come into Cleveland for blood. 10-yard loss, second and 30. Nothing going right for the Browns. Well, they can't be covering Marion Motley. He's his, he had his one reception. He's an E, but you know what? We're going to screen to Motley. Hopefully we catch a break here. London bump and run coverage. Screen to Marion Motley. And it's def deflected away by Ken Sale. We took a shot there. He's down to an E, but... Third and 30 from the Cleveland 6. Let's get these guys out of the game. Let's bring in Bill Bodecker, Ed Susterich, and Tony Adamley. Long pass to Bodecker. 
Prevent defense. Graham looking for Bodecker. And he throws it deep. And it is knocked away by Dan Crossman of the Monarchs. Fourth and 30. Gillum to punt. And we're going to go max protection. We don't want another punt blocked. He's going to be punting from his end zone. Monarch should have great field position. Here's the punt by Gillum. And he shanks it. Poor punt. Brinson has it at the 40. He'll pick up six yards on the return. The Monarchs first and 10 at the Cleveland 34. They already have a two-touchdown lead with 7.26 to play. I guess... Second and ten was correct in making the Monarchs the favorites. Thus, I played as the Browns, thinking, by golly, I was thinking I could get my fourth win. We've played 13 games with where I play as the team with the worst record, and we're three and ten. I was thinking, thinking we're going to get win number four. Alexander and Flanagan, I formation are your backs. John Horton and Tony Sargent, your wideouts. Pat Davis is the tight end. We're going to go run blitz. Looking to try to force a fumble here. Here come the linebacker shooting the gap. But it's a medium pass to Sargent. And Tony James knocks the ball away. Great recovery by Tom, excuse me, Tommy James. As that looked to be a big pass completion. But Tommy James with good coverage. Second and ten. Second and ten. Judd Garrett the lone setback. Horton, Brinson, and Sargent, your wideouts, blocking tight end for the Monarchs. We're going to go standard zone, extra defensive back, as we are playing pass on second and ten. Gelbaugh takes a snap. Fake handoff to Garrett, looking for Brinson on the square out. Perfectly covered by Alex Agass. Third and ten. Cleveland has to hold here. 7-10 left in the half, third and 10. We're going to play standard zone again, extra defensive back. Maybe we get a pick six here. Cleveland trying to clog the passing lanes. Medium sideline pattern to Horton. Caught at the 24. He spins backward, but he can't avoid Alex Agass. It's a gain of eight as he's knocked out of bounds. Fourth and two. The Monarchs keep their offense on the field. 642 left in the half, fourth and two. What will they do on 4th and 2? We're going to play run defense, and we're going to key Jeff Alexander 4th and 2. Will they go play action fake? Everyone up in the box looking run. It's Garrett on the run. He bounces to the outside, and he will lose a yard. Tony Adamley trips him up. The Browns defense holds on 4th down. Cleveland takes over 1st and 10 at their 27. So as Big Polly's World of Sports Sim said earlier, Mike Adamley's pop playing a hell of a game. That was a huge tackle by Tony Adamley. Motley, Dub Jones, and Special Delivery Jones are the three-headed monster in the Cleveland backfield. Hasn't been too much of a monster, though. And it's going to be a run to Marion Motley on first and ten. Monarchs playing pass. Motley will only pick up two. Ken Sale quickly brings him down. Second and eight. Motley with the run again. Man-to-man -man for London playing pass. Motley is smothered by Renna. Only another two yards. Third and six. Cleveland did not run the ball well in this year. So third and six, 5-12 and counting. Motley comes off. Bill Bodecker comes on. Play action pass. We're looking for Bodecker. Medium long. London, standard set. Doubling speedy. Play action. Bodecker running downfield. Incomplete. Pass too long down the sidelines. And Otto Graham is just out of sorts. Fourth and six. Horace Gillum will come into punt. Dana Brinson back deep. Gillum. It's a decent punt. 
Ball caught by Brinson at the London 33. Gets to the sideline. Picks up about six yards. London will have it with 4.55 to play in the half. First and 10 at their 39. 14 0, 1991 London Monarchs over the 1949 Cleveland Browns. We're going to play standard zone. Pass coverage. They have an eye formation with Alexander and Garrett, the running backs. Brinson, Sargent, your wideouts. Pat Davis, the tight end. Gilbaugh drops back in the pocket. Medium pass to Brinson. It's low. Brinson tries to make the catch. He comes up with it. Tackled by Tommy James. That's a gain of eight. Nice catch by Dana Brinson. Showing excellent hands on that low pass by Stan Gilbaugh. Second and two from the London 47. 4-12 left in the half. We're going to go run blitz. Try to force a fumble here if they run the ball. Here come the linebackers. Gelbaugh takes his usual drop, flares it to Alexander. Complete to Alexander. He might have some room here. He makes the first defender miss. And he is brought down at the Cleveland 46. We will not call timeout. First and 10 for the Monarchs. They come to the line of scrimmage. I formation again. 328 and counting. We're going to play a standard zone with three linebackers. Gelbaugh setting up to throw. Now it's a draw! Alexander picks up six yards before Lou Saban trips him up. 242 and counting in the half. Second and four from the Cleveland 40. So we're going to play zone again. And the sidelines. Oh, let's get a pick six. Play action pass. Medium. Dana Brinson. Gilbaugh a little too much on it. Incomplete. As the sidelines were well covered by the Browns. Third and four. 234 left in the half. Victor Muhammad and J.J. Flanagan are your running backs. I formation. John Horton and Dana Brinson, your wideouts. Pat Davis is the tight end on third and four from the Cleveland 40. Linebacker will blitz. Extra defensive back. And we're going to double. Actually, we're not going to blitz. Should we blitz? Uh, no, let's go standard coverage. Shadow the quarterback, extra defensive back. And we're going to double Horton and Brinson on third and four. Gilbaugh looking for a secondary receiver. Horton broken up by Les Horvath, who intercepted Gilbaugh down near the Cleveland end zone earlier in this game. Good job by Les Horvath. And that will bring out the punter for the Monarchs, Greg Horn. Cliff Lewis back. We'll have the return on. He'll probably punt it out of bounds. Plenty of time for Horn. Horn aiming for the sidelines. And he buries them deep with the punt. Lewis waves his hand, indicating a fair catch at the Cleveland 6. Might have let it bounce, but it was high. He probably didn't want that to get down on the 2 or something. So first and 10 for the Cleveland Browns of 1949 on their 6-yard line. They have all three timeouts. The offense had one decent drive to about midfield and were stopped. Other than that, nothing. Screen to Dante Lavelli on first and ten. London in a deep zone. Come on, Lavelli. Screen pass to Dante. It's complete to Lavelli. Lavelli breaks free. Come on, run, Dante. Run, 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 run. Picks up seven yards, second and three. And we'll take it to the two-minute warning. We will play hurry up. Second and three from the Cleveland 13. Screen to Max Speedy. London extra defensive back, soft coverage, doubling Speedy and Lavelli. Graham... Passes to Max Speedy. Speedy has it at the 9. Cuts outside at the 10. 20. Knocked out of bounds at the 33 by Chorus Irvin. That is a gain of 20 yards. 
for the Cleveland Browns, trying to get something before the half. First and 10 for Cleveland at their 33. Screen to Dub Jones. They continue to work the flanks. Two deep zone for London. Graham back in the pocket, looking, looking, looking. Sets up the screen to Dub Jones. Caught at the 28. 30! Over the 40! And he is knocked down at midfield. Pickup of 17 yards. First down. Cleveland will use their first time out. So the Browns and Otto Graham, they've gone to attack the Monarchs perimeter on against the Monarchs perimeter. And it's been successful so far. Ball at midfield. Two timeouts left for the Browns. 138 left in the first half. Horace Gillum comes in. Special Delivery Jones. Dub Jones come out. Bo Decker. Les Horvath and Tony Adamley are the three backs. Screen to Bo Decker on first and ten for midfield. Bump and run coverage. Extra defensive back for the Monarchs. Doubling Gillum and Speedy. Graham decides to look off. He throws a Speedy at the 46. But he loses some ground. Is a fumble. Who has it? The Browns recover it. Tony Adamley comes away from the pig pile with the pigskin. Three-yard gain. Speedy looks a bit woozy. He'll stay in the game. So it's going to be second and seven. We will use our second timeout. So they blow up the screen on that. Graham bought some time with his legs. It was almost a disaster, though, as Speedy fumbled the ball. Max Speedy goes out. Dante Lavelli comes in. So it's Lavelli and Gillum. Bo Decker, Adam Lee, and Les Horvath. Second and seven. Medium long to Bo Decker. Monarchs neutral defense team. Bo Decker on the run. The pass to Bo Decker thrown behind him. But Bo Decker reaches behind him. He breaks free. And he is brought down at the Monarch 18. Cleveland uses their last timeout. What a catch by Bo Decker. He reached behind him. As we get a soccer update that the U.S. defeated Mexico 3-2. I believe that's World Cup qualifiers, I think. First and ten. For the Browns at the London 18. 117 left. Browns out of timeouts. They're down 14 to nothing. Uh, Bo Decker. We can still throw to him. Adam Lee's a D. Let's get let's take out Les Horvath and let's bring in Marion Motley. And let's take out Dante Lavelli and bring Max Speedy back in. And we're going to go draw to Marion Motley on first and 10 from the London 18. London showing blitz. Doubling speedy. Graham, it's a draw to Marion Motley. Can he find a hole? He is brought down quite quickly by Harbor. Only a one-yard gain. Do we still have a timeout? We don't have any timeouts. 40, 54 seconds left. We're in the hurry up. 54 seconds left. Outside run for Marion Motley. Standard man defense playing pass. It's a safety blitz. Can Motley turn the corner? He gets around the corner for three yards. Out of bounds. Third and six. At the London 14. 44 seconds left. Gillum goes out. Dante Lavelli comes back in with Max Speedy. They're tight to the line of scrimmage. Adam Lee goes out. And Dub Jones comes in. So it's Motley, Dub Jones, and Bill Bodecker. Hmm. 
Hmm. 44 seconds. Play action fake. Medium long to Bill Bodecker out of the backfield. Neutral defense for the Monarchs. Keen Bodecker on the run. Play action fake. Graham looking for Bodecker on the corner route. Tipped away by Kenny Sale. Flag on the play. Pass interference. Personal foul. Personal foul. Defense. Yes! A late hit on Otto Graham. Unsportsmanlike conduct on the Monarchs. Half the distance to the goal line. Automatic first down. We will accept that. Cleveland fans hoping, wishing, wanting that the Browns can punch it in first and goal from the London 7. Let's go. Otto Graham calls his own number. Maybe it's a bootleg. Everyone up in the box. They're keying Motley. Graham. And he is down for a two-yard loss. Ten seconds left. Uh, we're going to spike the ball. Leaves us 20 seconds, third and nine. Lou grows a 45% chance of making this field goal. Monarchs up 14 to nothing. 20 seconds left. Looking for Dante Lavelli on the medium pass. They're keying Motley. Graham to Lavelli. Sideline. Caught at the two. Does he get in? No. Knocked out of bounds by Irv Smith. 11 seconds left. 52% chance of Groza making the field goal. From the two. Otto Graham calls his own number. Fourth and two. Come on, Otto. Punch it in, baby. They're doubling Lavelli. Graham rolls out. He's going to run. He's hit at the line. But he lunges in. Touchdown, Otto Graham. And the Browns are on the scoreboard. Great job of Otto Graham driving the 1949 Cleveland Browns down the field for a huge score. It's now 14 to 6. Grows a 98% on the extra point. The straight ahead kicker, the snap to place. It is good. 14 to 7. The difference in this game, the punt block for the touchdown for the Monarchs early in the first quarter. 2 seconds left. We will go onside kick. That should end the half. There's a mad scramble. The Monarchs recover at the Cleveland 46, and that's halftime. But a huge touchdown for the 1949 Cleveland Browns. 14-7 as we prepare for the third quarter. Let's quickly look how the team scored. The Monarchs, again... 12-27 first quarter blocked punt. Alexander picked it up and ran it in 30 yards for the touchdown. Then the Monarchs scored Gilbaugh to Tony Sargent. 22-yard pass. Extra points were good in both situations. 14-0 London Monarchs. But Cleveland with an excellent drive culminating on a fourth and two. They went for it. Otto Graham rolled out. The first would-be tackler got runned over. Graham lunged for the end zone, and he broke the plane. Groza's kick was good. 14-7. Monarchs back to the game and the third quarter. Groza will kick off. And we're going to kick. If you want to kick into the wind and have the win in the fourth quarter, you know what? We're going to kick into the wind. There's not much wind, so we will kick into the wind. And we're going to kick deep. Dana Brinson and Judge Garrett back deep. Groza with the boot. Garrett at the 7. And he'll return it for 13 yards before Garrett is brought down. So Gilbaugh and the Monarchs offense take over first and 10. 
at their 10, at their 20, excuse me, Garrett Muhammad are in I formation. Brinson Sargent, your wideouts. Pat Davis is the tight end. We're going to play standard zone on first down. Looking pass. Gilba looking for Garrett on a medium pass. Garrett has it. And he is tackled by Lou Saban at the Monarch 32. That's a gain of 12. So Gilba throwing the ball all around. First and 10. Again, I formation. This time it's Alexander and Flanagan. Horton, Brinson, the wideouts. Davis, the tight end. And we're going to play standard zone again on first down. We're looking past. Gilba looks away from Horton. Good coverage. Looking for Brinson running the corner route. Nice throw, but Tommy James, less the Shondells, knocks the ball away. Good job by Tommy James. Second and 10. Second and 10. We're going to blitz a linebacker on second and 10. Standard coverage. I formation for the Monarchs. Can Cleveland get to Gelba? It's Adam Lee on the blitz. Hand off to Alexander. Good pursuit by Lou Saban as he busts through. It's only a one-yard gain. Excellent job by Lou Saban. Third and nine for the Monarchs at their 33. Three wide out set. Horton, Brinson, Sargent, Pat Davis, the tight end, Judd Garrett, the lone running back. We're going to go zone, extra defensive back. We're playing zone pass coverage. Gelba drops back the pass, looking for John Horton. Flag, Horton well covered, play is broken up. Holding. Offense. Offense. Yes! Yes! Good job by the down lineman. Holding on the offense, we will decline. It will be fourth and nine, and the Monarchs will punt. The Monarchs will punt. So Greg Horn comes out to punt. Cliff Lewis back deep. We're going to have normal punt return. It's a beautiful punt by Horn. Lewis fields it at the 16. Lewis takes advantage. He's over the 20, over his own 30. Lewis has room, 40. He crosses midfield. And he is knocked out of bounds at the London 46. Great job by the Cleveland Browns on the punt return. And here comes Otto Graham. He had that excellent drive at the end of the half, scoring the two-yard touchdown run to make it 14-7. 13-01 left in the third quarter. And let's rest Dub Jones and bring in Special Delivery Jones. We'll rest Max Speedy and bring in Horace Gillum. So it's Dante Lavelli and Horace Gillum. The ends tight to the line. The three backs, Motley, Bo Decker, and Special Delivery Jones. Play action fake. Medium long to Bill Bo Decker. Tight coverage by the Monarchs. It's a blitz. Play action. Graham under pressure. And he is sacked. By Marlon Brown, that is an 11-yard loss. They didn't bite for that play-action fake. Second and 21, medium long to Bo Decker out of the backfield. Extra defensive back, deep zone for the Monarchs. Graham looking, looking, looking. Bo Decker, incomplete. Graham threw to the out. Bo Decker cut to the end. Some confusion on that pass pattern. So after an excellent punt return, it's now third and 21 for the Browns. Dante Lavelli comes out. Max Speedy comes in. What do you do on third and 21? Well, you screen to Bodecker. Third and 21, maybe we catch him in a blitz. Monarchs expecting pass. Here's a screen to Bodecker. Bodecker at the 39. 40. Crosses midfield. He has some room. And he's knocked down at the London 42. That's a pickup of 15. Fourth and six. Fourth and six for the Browns. 
And we will punt. Horace Gillum will try to pin the Monarchs back deep. And the punt sails over Gillum's head. The ball is free. Recovered by Cleveland at the 29. Cliff Lewis. And he is tagged down. Unbelievable. Once again, the punt team. Oh, my God. They snapped the ball over Gillum's head. They've had a punt block and now this disaster. So the Monarchs take over first and 10 at the Cleveland 29. Three wide receivers set for the Monarchs. John Horton, Dana Brintz, and Tony Sargent. The tight ends, Pat Davis. The lone setback, Judd Garrett. We will play all purpose on first and 10. Gelbaugh's going to pass. Horton running a corner route. Pass thrown behind him. Incomplete. Second and 10. Gelba and the Monarchs stick with that three wide receivers set. Garrett goes off the field. J.J. Flanagan's the lone setback now. Standard zone, extra defensive back for the Monarchs, as uh, for the Browns as we look past. Medium to John Horton. The ball's delivered by Gelba. Horton has it at the 16, tackled by Dub Jones at the 9. That is a gain of 20. As John Horton found the seam in the zone and Gel Ball delivered the ball. So after the bad snap on the punt, it's first and goal now for the Monarchs at the Cleveland 9. The London Monarchs of 1991-14, the Cleveland Browns of 1949-7. Last time Gel Ball was down in this situation, the Monarchs got a little cute. And Horvath picked off the ball. Can we do that again? I think we're going to play run defense here, and we're going to key Jeff Alexander on first and ten, uh, first and goal from the nine. Everyone up in the box. Keying Alexander. It's going to be a pass. No, it's a draw to Judge Garrett. And Lou Saban sheds his blocker and stays low and makes the carrot, uh, tackle on Garrett. One yard gain, second and goal from the Cleveland 8. Under 10 to play in the third quarter. Two tight ends set for the Monarchs. Pat Davis and a blocking tight end. Tony Sargent alone wide out. Alexander and Flanagan are the running backs in I formation. We're going to play all purpose. We're going to play all purpose and key Jeff Alexander on the run. Neutral defense for the Browns. Keying Alexander. Gelba to throw. Bill Willis comes charging through the line. Pressure on Gelba. Gelba scrambles. Now looks for Alexander. A short pass. Complete to Alexander at the four. Tackled by special delivery Jones at the two. That's a gain of six. Oh, they almost had Gelba sacked. But the nimble Gelba used his feet to keep the play alive. Third and goal from the Cleveland 2. Three tight end set for the Monarchs. Victor Muhammad, the fullback, the upback. Judd Garrett behind him. We're playing short yardage here. And we're going to... Wow. They could go play action fake here. They could throw it in the flat. But we got to play short yardage run. And we're going to key Garrett. Here we go. Big play here. Third and goal from the two. Everyone up. Key and Garrett. Hand off to Garrett. Nope. Play action fake. Gelba to throw. Garrett. Touchdown. God. Fudge knocker. I knew they were going to do that. Play action fake to Garrett. He escapes into the end zone. Easy touchdown pass. Stan Gilba. Now 14 of 24. 177 yards and two touchdowns. 20 to 7. Monarchs. Philip Alexander, 94% accuracy on extra points. The kick is up, and it's good. 21-7. to So, shoddy punt kick team play by the Browns have cost them 14 points. A block punt, and then they snap the ball over the head of Horace Gillum. Nine minutes left in the third quarter. Alexander to kick off. Marion Motley and Ed Susterick back deep. 
Here's the kickoff. Motley takes it at the Cleveland 8. He has some running room. Motley following his blockers. It's a 27-yard return. Finally tackled at the Cleveland 35. 8.51 left in the third quarter. It will be Motley, Bo Decker, Special Delivery Jones, the three backs, the ends, Dante Lavelli and Horace Gillum. Medium long, play action pass, medium long to Horace Gillum. London, deep zone, play action. Graham looking, doesn't have much time. Moving around, and he is sacked by Danny Lockett. That is Lockett's second sack. Loss of 10. They have put good pressure on Otto Graham. Second and 20. Dante Lavelli comes out. Max Speedy comes in. We need a big, big play here. Medium long. Uh, you know what? You know what? Heck with it. Medium long to Bodecker. Soft coverage. By the Monarchs, Graham looking, looking, looking. Flag pattern to Bill Bodecker. Bodecker catches it, bobbles as he's hit, and he can't hold on. Oh, Bodecker could not hold on. He bobbled it, and then he got kaplopped. And the pigskin falls to the grass here at Cleveland Municipal Stadium. Third and 20. Max Speedy and Dante Lavelli are the ends. Bo Decker, Special Delivery Jones, and Marion Motley are the backs. Screen to Bo Decker on third and 20 from the Cleveland 25. Monarchs playing prevent. Bo Decker has the ball. Picks up 10 yards before he's brought down by Derek Judge. That leaves fourth and 10. And now Cleveland has to punt. This has been an adventure. One blocked for a touchdown. One snapped over Gillum's head. We're going to punt. Let's do max protect. Back deep is Dana Brinson. Monarchs lead 21-7. It's a good snap this time. Gillum under pressure, but he gets off a nice punt. Brinson fields it cleanly at London's 25. He spins away. Picks up six yards on the 40-yard punt. First and 10 for the Monarchs. 7.22 to play in the third quarter. Ball at their 31, 21-7, London. Eye formation for the Monarchs. Alexander the up back. Garrett behind him. Horton and Brinson the wide outs. Pat Davis the tight end. We're going to play run defense on first and 10. Gilball launches one deep. Going for the kill. Flag on the play. Grabbed by Horton at the Cleveland 38. He can score. He's at the 20. Good night! Good riddance! Touchdown, Monarchs! So Gilba and the Monarchs went for the kill. The coach, Larry Kenyon, says, let's get the hell out of here. Holding. Offense. Offense, and that denies the touchdown. Cleveland's still in this game. So the big touchdown pass of 69 yards taken off the boards due to the holding by the Monarchs. We sure do accept that. And it'll be first and 20 at the London 21 with 6.59 to play in this game. Standard man coverage. Shadow the quarterback. We're playing pass. No double team. Flag on the play. False start. False start on the offense. offense. This is what Cleveland needs. That's going to back up the bus a bit more for the Monarchs. Five-yard penalty, first and 25 at the Monarch 16. Now London goes three wideouts. Horton, Brinson, Sargent, Pat Davis, the tight end. Judd Garrett, the lone running back. First and 25. We're going to play a standard zone extra defensive back, and we're going to play towards the sideline. Come on, pick six. Middle of the field could be open. Medium short pass to Judd Garrett. And the pass by Gelba. Complete to Garrett at the 20. Tackled by special delivery Jones at the 27. Gain of 11. Second and 14 for the Monarchs. 6.22 to play in the third quarter. Second and 14. The blitzing hasn't worked for us. 
Again, they have that three wide out set. Garrett, the lone setback. We're going to go standard man coverage. Shadow, the quarterback. Extra defensive back. And we're going to double Horton and Brinson on the pass. Gelball looks away from Horton. Now, long pass to Sargent. Broken up by Tommy James. Third and 14. For the Monarchs at their 27. A deep zone puts us too far. They throw underneath. Just need to stop them before the sticks. Extra defensive back, deep zone, pass. Gelbaugh's going to throw the pigskin. He's looking, looking, medium long to Dana Brinson. Deflected, and the ball falls harmlessly to the grass. So good job by the Browns' defense. They trail by 14. They will force a punt by the Monarchs. Here comes Greg Horn in the punt team. 6.06 to play in the third quarter. We're going to have the return on. Hopefully we get a big return. Horn, plenty of time. Not a good punt. Fielded by Lewis at the 41. He's hit. He fumbles. But Tommy James falls. No, he picks it up. He picks it up. And he is tackled after five more yards. Unbelievable. Cleveland very sloppy on special teams. So Cleveland takes over first and 10 at the London 44 after a shank punt. And then the fumble by Lewis, but Tommy James has saved the day once again. 5.58 left in the third quarter. Lavallee and Gillum are the ends. Motley, Bodecker, and Special Delivery Jones are the backs. Actually, let's get Bodecker out of there. Let's bring in Dub Jones. And Dub Jones will carry the ball on first and ten. That's a deep zone for the Monarchs. Dub Jones pops through the line. He's into the secondary. And that is a big run of 15 yards as Harvey Wilson, with a tremendous block, popped for Dub Jones. First and 10 at the London 29. Lavelli, Lavelli goes out. Speedy comes in. There are the ends. Speedy and Gillum. And again, we're going to give the ball to Dub Jones on first and 10 from the London 29. London playing for the run. Keying Jones. Jones runs into them. And he is cut down at the line of scrimmage. No gain. Second and 10. Second and 10. For Cleveland. Dante Lavelli comes back in. Max Speedy goes out, 2nd and 10. Marion Motley gets the call on 2nd and 10. Monarch, standard set, doubling Gillum for the pass. Marion Motley behind, Rimkus picks up 4. Leaves 3rd and 6. 3rd and 6. Motley to get the carry again on 3rd and 6. 2 down territory for Cleveland. Timeout, offense. Ugh, Cleveland, too many men on the field. They have to waste a timeout. Only 2 left for the Browns. Special delivery Jones on the carry on third and six. Standard man coverage for the Monarchs. Wilson blitzes up the middle. Jones picks up a couple. Tackled by Derek Dodge. Fourth and four. Cleveland's offense stays on the field. Ball at the London 23. They're down by 14. Fourth and four. Can we go three wideouts? I don't think we can go three wideouts. No, doesn't let us do that because they didn't. They never ran that, which is fine. Which is fine. Uh, we have Dante Lavelli and Max Speedy. The ends tight to the line of scrimmage. Motley, uh, Dub Jones, and Special Delivery Jones. Fourth and four. Not a lot of good options here. They're going to cut off our passing here. Uh, Les Horvath. Let's, take, let's see what Les can do here. Les might be more. Probably going to play short. D. Let's take out... D. 
Dub Joan, uh, Special Delivery Joan. Let's bring in Les Horvath. And let's go play action, fake, medium pass. Because a short pass might not be long enough. Might be one of those two-yard jobbers. To Les Horvath. Fourth and four. Big play for the Browns. Trying to keep this drive alive. Monarchs. Standard set. Doubling speedy. Play action fake. Graham looking. Throws to Horvath. Broken up by Crossman. Turnover on downs. Turnover on downs. 321 to play in the third quarter. 21-7. Monarchs. We're going to play all-purpose defense on first down. I formation for the Monarch. Gilbaugh under center. Gilbaugh takes his usual drop. Looks for Horton. Pass defect, deflected by Horvath. He almost had his second pick. Second and ten. We're going to play standard man coverage. Shadow the quarterback. I formation for the Monarchs. Alexander and Flanagan are the backs. Horton Brinson the wideouts. Davis is the tight end. Second and ten, we play pass. It's a run by Jeff Alexander and he'll pick up five on the mad dash towards the sidelines. Bill Willis on the tackle for the Browns. Third and five from the London 28. The lone back is J.J. Flanagan. Three wideouts. Horton, Brinson, Sergeant, Pat Davis is the tight end. Third and five. Standard coverage, extra defensive back. Shadow the quarterback. We're not doubling. You know what? We're going to... Flanagan's a D. Flanagan can't catch the ball. So we're going to double Horton and Brinson. Force him to go elsewhere. Gelba drops back to pass. Gelba in trouble! He's hit, but he doesn't go down. For God's sake, someone tackle him. And now they get him at the 17. It's a sack of 11 yards. Big sack by multiple Cleveland Brown players as they hit Gelba all at the same time. Good job by the Cleveland defense. Fourth and 16 will have the return on. We need a big punt return here. Horn will punt for London. Plenty of time for Horn. Short punt. Ball goes out of bounds at the Cleveland 49. Only a 34-yard punt. Browns have good field position. They need to take advantage of this. Max Speedy and Horace Gillum are the ends. The running backs, Marion Motley, Dub Jones, and Les Horvath. Play action, fake, medium, long pass to Les Horvath. Man-to-man -man defense, doubling, uh, Motley play action fake. It's a blitz. Graham doesn't have much time. And he is sacked once again. Roy Hart gets him. Play action has not fooled this Monarch defense at all. They didn't bite for the Marion Motley fake handoff. So second and 21, 58 seconds, 58 seconds and counting. Screen to Horvath on second and 21. Man coverage for London. They're blitzing. Come on, Horvath. Now he goes to Gilliam deep. Incomplete. He didn't give Gilliam enough chance to run under that ball, but Otto Graham didn't have much time. So again, good field position. Now they go backwards, third and 21. Dante Lavelli and Max Speedy. Well, by God, we're throwing it to Max Speedy. Medium long. Prevent defense for London. Speedy running a corner. He pulls it down at the London 48. He picks up 16 yards, and he is knocked out of bounds. Fourth and five for Cleveland. At the London 46. Fourth and five. That was a huge pass play, but they needed... 21 yards. They got 16. Median pass on 4th and 5 to Max Speedy. Standard zone. Can Speedy find the Z? Speedy grabs at the 39! Gain of 7! And that ends the third quarter. The Browns stay alive for the final 15 minutes of football. First and 10 at the London 39. 
Max Speedy's in the red now. And we're going to go medium to Dante Lavelli on first down. No play action fake as it seems it doesn't work. Extra defensive back. Lavelli and Speedy double covered. Graham looking, looking, looking. No one open. He throws now to Lavelli. Incomplete. Excellent coverage by the Monarchs. Second and 10 from the London 39. Screen to Dante Lavelli. London man-to-man -man coverage. And it's an all-out blitz. Here's a screen to Lavelli. He hauls it in at the 44. 40. And knocked out of bounds at the Monarch 27-yard line. 12-yard gain. They beat the blitz with the screen to the end. Dante Lavelli. First and 10 for Cleveland. They trail by 14 with 14-29 left. In this game, the winner advances in the tournament. The loser goes home. Lavelli will get a breather on the sideline. Horace Gillum comes in. Medium pass to Gillum on first and ten. Standard man-to-man -man coverage for the Monarchs. And it's an all-out blitz again. Graham in trouble. Graham looking. Medium pass. Gillum batted away by Derek Dodge. Second and ten. Draw to Marion Motley on 2nd and 10 from the London 27. Flag on the play. Offsides false defense. Ah, oh, false start offense. offense. God, fudge knocker. And that's going to back up the bus 5 yards on the false start. It'll be 2nd and 15. 2nd and 15. Medium long to Horace Gillum on 2nd and 15. Standard man-to-man -man coverage for uh, the Monarchs. They're keying Motley. Medium. Gillum pulls it down at the 13. Running room to the sideline. Touchdown! Otto Graham with his first touchdown pass to go with his running touchdown. 32 yards to Horace Gillum. And it's 21-13. to And this is a huge extra point. For Lou the Toe Groza, 98% success rate. The lineman with the straight ahead kick. It is up and good. 21-14. Brown still in it. Again, if you're just joining us, Monarchs have gotten two touchdowns due to a horrible punt kick special teams on the punt. They had... The Browns had one punt blocked for a touchdown, and then they snapped the ball over Gillum's head, which led to another touchdown. And we will quickly show you that right here. Here's the punt block. 30-yard return by Alexander for the touchdown. And then the third touchdown by the Monarchs came after the punt was snapped over Gillum's head. And it was a short pass on a play-action fake to Jared. Garrett, excuse me. So 14-12 left in a very exciting game. Groza to kick off. Back deep is Brinson and Judd Garrett. Groza, the toe, kicks it. Flag on the play. Flag on the, play. the kickoff went out of bounds. Oh, God. So they'll back it up, and the Browns will kick off again. Five-yard penalty. This could give the Monarchs an opportunity for better field position. Grows it a kick deep again. Hopefully it stays in bounds. J.J. Flanagan starts at the London 17. Forced out of bounds after 19 yards. First and 10 for the Monarchs at their 36. 14-03 to play. Monarchs with a 7-point lead. 21-14. They've come into Cleveland wanting to win. The offense has been kept in check for the most part. Three wide receivers set for the Monarchs. Horton, Brinson, and Sargent. J.J. Flanagan, the lone setback. The tight end is Pat Davis. We're going to go standard man coverage. Shadow the quarterback on first and ten. Gilba drops back. Brinson running a corner art. It's complete. First down. Gain of 18. Special delivery Jones makes the tackle. But they'll take 18 yards all day, all night, the Monarchs will. Second, I'm sorry, first and 10 for the Monarchs at the Cleveland 46. 
We need a turnover here. We're going all out blitz. Standard coverage. Here comes everyone. Gilbaugh drops back. He's under duress. He's trying to... He flares it to Garrett. Garrett at the 47. Makes the first tackler miss. Gains 10 yards. Finally brought down by Thompson at the Cleveland 36. So Stan Gelba keeps the play alive with his feet once again. Blitz just has not worked for us. First and 10 at the 36. All purpose we're playing. All purpose defense. It's a handoff to Jeff Alexander. Alexander goes to the outside, pushed out of bounds at the line of scrimmage. Good lateral pursuit by the Cleveland Browns. Second and 10 from the Cleveland 36. 12-19 left in the game. I formation for the London Monarchs. Alexander, the up back, Flanagan behind him. Horton and Sargent, your wideouts. Pat Davis, the tight end. Second and 10. Zone coverage. We're going to play zone coverage. Skew it to the sidelines. Come on, pick six. Gelba drops back to pass. It's a draw. We're screwed. Alexander has the ball, and he goes up the middle quickly. Picks up six before brought down by Tommy James. Big third and four now from the Cleveland 30. I formation again. Alexander and Flanagan. Horton Brinson the wideouts. Pat Davis the tight end. Third and four. What will the Browns do here on third and four? We're going to play run defense. And we're going to key Alexander. Maybe we force a fumble here. Gelba back in the pocket. Hands it off to Alexander. And somehow he still picks up three freaking yards. And we're keying him. So good job by the Monarchs offensive line. Fourth and one. Coach Larry Kenyon. Keeps the offense on the field for the Monarchs. Short yardage defense for the Browns. Remember last time we were in this situation. Gilbaugh play action fake to Garrett. Garrett not on the field here. Two tight ends set. The lone wideout, John Horton. It's Muhammad and Flanagan in the backfield. Short yardage. And we're going to key... The fullback, Victor Muhammad, the RT, right, improves with certain... So we're keying the fullback. This is a big play. Huge. Flanagan gets the carry towards the sidelines, and he'll pick up four yards. Saban trips him up, or it could have been more. So they run a counter with Flanagan. 10-24 left in the game. First and 10 on the Cleveland 23. All-purpose defense. All-purpose defense for the Browns. Gelbaugh's going to pass. Dumps it to Garrett on the outside. Has it at the 21, and he scampers for 11 yards before pushed out of bounds by Dub Jones at the Cleveland 12. 10 one left in the game. First and 10 at the Cleveland 12. Again, we need a huge play here. Run blitz. Run blitz. Come on, pop someone. Here come all the linebackers. Flanagan on the carry, trying to get around the end, and he muscles his way for three yards, second and seven. From the Cleveland nine, Browns fans screaming defense, second and nine. Zone coverage, three wide receivers. We're not going to bring in an extra defensive back. And we're playing pass, second and nine from the second and seven from the Cleveland nine. Flanagan on the run, and he'll pick up four yards, tackled by Saban, third and a short three. 8.29 left in the game. A field goal will give the Monarchs a two-possession lead. Third and three. They've run play action on this quite a bit. We picked them once, and the other time was a touchdown to Garrett. Bump and run, shadow the quarterback. Here we go. Third and three. Gilba throws Garrett underneath. Broken up by Saban. Oh, we need the pick, though. We need the pick. Nuts. They went underneath again. All right, fourth and three. 
They're not going to kick the field goal. Wow. Is their kicker that bad? They're not going to kick the field goal. They're going to go for it on fourth and three. From the Cleveland Five. Nice play by Lou Saban. John Wise has joined us. Hope all is well. Oh, God. Fourth and three. Bump and run coverage again. Shadow the quarterback. Fourth and three. We're looking pass. We're looking short. Gelba back in the pocket. He's under duress. Get him, get him. And he's sacked for a six-yard loss. The Browns hold as several Browns nail Gilba. Great job by the down four defensive linemen. And the Browns hold 8-12 to play in the game. The Monarchs 21. The 1949 Cleveland Browns 14. Whoa, Nelly. Dante Lavelli and Max Speedy are your ends. Motley, Dub Jones, and Les Horvath are your backs. Medium long to Les Horvath. They're gambling. They're rolling the dice. Monarchs have put tremendous pressure on Graham. They're keying the run. And there's the sack once again. Roy Hart gets his second sack loss of 10. Oh, my Lord, nearly a safety as Otto Graham was able to get the hell out of the end zone. Second and 20 from the Cleveland 1. It's going to be a run for Marion Motley to try to give us a little room here. Man coverage pass for the Monarchs. Motley, the ball carrier. Good block by Groza. Motley through the line and he picks up five. The ball is loose. And London recovers. Oh, no. Marion Motley fumbles, and the Monarchs have it first down and goal on the Cleveland Five. Unfreaking believable. The Browns are their own worst enemies in this game. First and goal, and here comes a tired Cleveland defense. Most of these guys are playing both ways. First and goal from the five. We're going to play bump and run. Shadow the quarterback. Come on, pick. Monarchs love to throw. Gelba. It's a draw to Alexander. And he burrows low. Picks up four yards. Second and goal from the Cleveland one. Under seven to play in the game. Oh, my God. Well, we got to play short yardage, and we will key Jeff Alexander. Come on, fumble. Goal line defense for Cleveland. Keying Alexander. Play fake. Medium pass to Horton. And it's knocked away by Alex Agassi. Or Agus. Oh, my Lord. That was the touchdown that would have sealed the deal. What a play by the Cleveland defense, but they are not out of the fire. Third and goal from the Cleveland one. We have to play short yardage. And we will key Jeff Alexander. Third and goal. Will the Monarchs finally try to punch it in on the ground? Everyone up. Alexander, they're keying Gelba. Hands off. No, play action fake. Garrett. Touchdown. They went to that play action again. And it's 27 to 14. Second touchdown reception for Judd Garrett. Nine receptions, 74 yards. He has killed us out of the freaking backfield. 94% chance of success for the kicker, Philip Alexander. It's up, and it's good. 28-14 with 6.30 to play. The fumble by Marion Motley. Prior to that, the sack. Again, Cleveland, their own worst enemies. They had a punt block for a touchdown. They had a ball snapped over their punter's head that led to a short field and a touchdown for the Monarchs. We need a huge return by Marion Motley here. Here's the kickoff by Alexander, and it won't be returned. It's a touchback. 6.30 to play in this football game. Dub Jones will get the carry. Maybe he can pop into the secondary. They're playing pass. Dub Jones with the ball. And he picks up six. Second and four. We are in the hurry up. Outside run by Dub Jones. 
Timeout. Too many men on the field for London. They called timeout. 5.44 left. Um, let's get Horvath out. Bring in special delivery Jones. Bill Bodecker. So let's bring in Bill Bodecker. Outside run for Bodecker. Man-to-man -man coverage playing pass for the Monarchs. Oh, come on. Wilson blitzing. Flag on the play. False start offense. We continue to shoot our toes off. It's going to be second down and nine. Outside run to Bodecker. They're going to be playing a, a zone, and they are. Come on, Billy. Get to the outside. He has some running room, and he's knocked out of bounds at the Cleveland 31. First down. That's a 10-yard gain for Billy Bodecker. 5-10 to play. Outside run to Bodecker again. They're going to be playing pass. Standard set doubling speedy. Bodecker on the run. And he picks up four. We need more yards than that. Second and six. Second and six. Give it to Bodecker again. We need a pop here. They're playing pass. Extra defensive back. Doubling speedy and Lavelli. Bodecker picks up seven. First down. So we're picking up yards but losing time. Bodecker outside again. Standard man coverage for London. They're playing pass. Here comes a blitz. Can Bo Decker gain the corner? He's hit hard, but he breaks the tackle. And now he's hit again. The ball comes free. There's a mad scrum. Cleveland comes away with it. Bo Decker did pick up eight. The Browns come away with it. Bo Decker, I believe, recovered the fumble. 413 left. Second and two. Medium long. Well, they're doubling in those guys. Uh, we got to go for it. Medium long to Max Speedy. Soft coverage for London. Nickel package doubling Speedy and Lavelli. Graham looking. He's going to throw to Max Speedy on the post pattern. Knocked away by Harvey Wilson. It'll be third and two. Dub Jones on... The outside run on third and two. Standard defense for the Monarchs. Doubling speedy. Jones forced out of bounds. He picks up two. They're going to measure. Really? We didn't pick it up? Not enough. you got to be kidding me. Fourth and one. Of course we got to go for it. Clock stops as he's knocked out of bounds. Fourth and one. Bodecker comes out. Special delivery Jones comes in. Play action fake, fourth and one, medium pass to... Ma you know what? Well, our run game has failed us. They're going to double Dub Jones. They're going to double Dub Jones. You know what? Play action fake, medium short to Max Speedy. Standard defense for London. Uh, they're doubling Speedy. Play action fake. Graham looking, looking, looking. Still throws to Speedy. Complete to Speedy. Four yards and out of bounds. But we need to pick up big chunks of yards. 3.49 left. Ball on the London 45. We don't have a lot of good options here. You can see all the red. Dante Lavelli, medium long to Lavelli. London playing pass, doubling speedy and Lavelli. Graham looking, moving around. He's going to force it to Lavelli on a flag pattern. Broken up by Dan Crossman. Second and ten. Second and ten. Draw to Dub Jones. Come on, Dub. Get in that secondary and run. They're playing pass. Here's the draw. Dub Jones picks up six. Tackled by Danny Lockett. We're not going to use our two timeouts yet. We're in a hurry up. 323, third and four. Screen to Lavelli. Screen to Lavelli. Man coverage. Here's the blitz. Come on, Lavelli. Lavelli. He has it at the 41. Run. 40. And then he breaks back across the 30. Runs out of bounds. Picks up 16. The ball is spotted. 
At the London 23, 315 left in the game. All of our pass receivers are now D's. And that is not Bueno. Down by 14. Oh boy. Screen to Lavelli again. Standard man coverage for the Monarchs. Extra defensive back. Wilson on the blitz. They're doubling speedy. Come on, Dante. Come on, Dante. Graham looking. Looking for a new target. Looking for special delivery Jones. Good pass by Graham. But even better defense by Dan Crossman as he knocks away a potential touchdown pass. Second and 10. Second and 10. 3.06 left in the game. Screen to Lavelli again. Here comes the blitz. They're keying Jones. Graham in trouble. Scrambling. Circle pattern to Motley. Motley grabs at the 15. Out of bounds at the 9. Gain of 14. First and goal for the Browns. 2.56 left in the game. Browns trail by 14. Draw to Special Delivery Jones. We need a touchdown run here and now. They're doubling Lavelli. Graham, draw. Special Delivery Jones. And he is brought down at the line of scrimmage. He avoided the first tackler. We're not going to call timeout. And we're going to go... Where's the red zone? We can't go... I thought I saw a red zone. Shoot. All right. Bo Decker comes back in. Outside run to Billy Bo Decker on second and goal from the nine. They're, flag on the play. Ugh, flag on the play. Hand off to Bo Decker. Touchdown, Bo Decker! If the flag is against the Monarchs, we've scored. Nine yard run by Bo Decker. Offsides. We decline! Bo Decker gets in! Oh my lord, Cleveland's not dead yet. We decline the penalty. That gives us the touchdown. touchdown. As the fans here at Cleveland Municipal Stadium erupt, Bill Bodecker, five carries, 38 yards, and a touchdown. 28-21, Lou Groza. 98% success rate on extra points. Please, Toe, make it. Lou the Toe puts it up and good. 28-21. Unbelievable game here. Again, if you're just joining us, the Browns have played horrible on special teams. We've had a punt block, and we've snapped the ball over our punter's head. That led to 14 points for the Monarchs. 2.22 to play. We have two timeouts. We're going onside kick. It's a scramble, and the Monarchs come away with the pigskin at the Cleveland 41. That's okay. That's okay. We got to hold them. Not a big deal. 216 to play. We're down 28 21. We have two timeouts and the two minute warning. Super Bowl tournament has joined us. Hope all is well. Will these would these jackasses continue to pass? Probably. We're gonna play run defense. We're playing run defense on first and ten. Alexander gets the call. Cut down by Bill Willis. Gain of two. Second and eight. We will use a timeout. So we have the two-minute warning and one more timeout. 2.08 to play in the game. 2.08 to play in the game. Second and eight. Oh, God. This is where they would pass. Standard man coverage. Shadow the quarterback. We're not going to double anybody. Come on, pick six. It's a handoff to Alexander. Picks up three. Lou Ramkus. And that's a two-minute warning. 159 left in the game. Third and five. 
as John Wise screaming defense, defense. Dave Garner says, go after those Monarchs. We are. This has been a hell of a game. Unbelievable. Seriously, we should win. I thought at least I had a shot at winning this game. I am, this is our game 14, second game we've shown on the channel. Just a quick, I am, where the hell is my little notes here? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it, Al? Keep. We are 3-10. and 10. And at least, the Browns were, were underdogs, so we get to play them. But the Browns have killed themselves with pen. Look, punt block, touchdown return. And then the third touchdown, uh, we snapped the ball over our punter's head. The Monarchs had the short field, and they punched it in. Now, huge third and five as they come out of the two-minute warning. Three wide receivers set for the Monarchs. Horton, Brinson, Sargent, Garrett the lone setback. They've thrown a lot to Garrett out of the backfield. They've thrown a lot to Garrett. You can see he's a D minus two now. Third and five. The blitz has not worked for us at all. We've got to go bump and run coverage, shadow the quarterback, extra defensive back. We they're going to throw to Sergeant, but that we got to key Horton and Brinson. Probably they're going to go to Garrett in the flat, but he's a D now. Here we go. Third and five. We're playing pass, shadowing the quarterback. Big play here. This is the game. Garrett gets the carry. Not much there. Tackle him. Tackle him. Oh, you son of a bitch. He got six. Oh, he burrowed for six. That son of a bitch. Our last yeah, time please. out. He has killed us all freaking game. This time on the run. Well, we're playing run defense. Here we go. They're just going to take a freaking knee. Gelbot takes a knee. Second and 11. Run defense. This game's over. Unbelievable. Gelbaugh takes a knee. They're running clock. 24 seconds. I don't even think he has to take another knee. He does. That's it. The Monarchs will advance. 28-21. to 21. They come into Cleveland Municipal Stadium. And the 1991 London Monarchs defeat the 1949 Cleveland Browns out of the All-American Football Conference. The Monarchs out of the World American Football League. Stan Gelbaugh is the MVP. 228 yards, three touchdowns. Quarterback rating 94, and he rushed for 11 yards. It's, it's the bad special team play of the Browns that cost them this game. I thought we had a chance of getting our fourth win, but now we are three. What are we? Three and 11 now. I got to mark that down. Because I'm a glutton for... Ah, oh, we should have won this game. We're now 3 and 11. That was a lot of fun. Oh, we almost rallied. 14 points because of bad punt team play. Uh, let's go to the box score. And here... Uh, really fun game. Alexander, 12 for 40. Flanagan, 8 for 19. Garrett killed us. Garrett... Uh, freaking killed us. But more out of the backfield. Nine receptions out of the backfield, 74 yards and two touchdowns. Otto Graham, 18 of 38, 247 yards and a touchdown. We had no run game. We How many times did we fumble the ball? Back to the recap. How many turnovers did we have? Only one, but it was horrific. We got a turnover on the pick. When they, they Instead of running the ball, they threw a lot. Uh, down in first, uh, down in the goal line situation. Horvath picked off Gelba. Here's the play-by-play. -play. Here is the punt block. Here's the punt block. Horace Graham punt is blocked, recovered by Derek Dodge, who races in for the touchdown. Here's them snapping the ball over the punter's head. Let's find that. I love the play-by-play. -play. Uh, where is the snap over the head? Shoot. It was on the third touchdown. 
Is it here? Nope, that's the punt second quarter. Anyway, they snapped it over his head. I can't find it. But it sucked. Anyway, fun game. Monarchs advance. Browns are out. Let's close out of that. We're now, as I stated, 3 and freaking 11. Our next game that we're going to show... I'll play some games offline. We're going to show you Memphis and the Boston Breakers. I get to play as the Boston Breakers because I get to play as any Boston team or Doug Flutie team if I want. Now, the, I, the New Jersey was 11-7. and seven. Flutie's the quarterback. The Express were horrible. They were 3-15. and 15. So I have to decide who I want to play as. I'll probably take New Jersey because I like Doug Flutie. Uh, San Francisco, Orlando, we might give you that game. I still have to find some helmets. Frankfurt, Arizona. So we still have some games up in the first round. And again, tough loss for the Browns. The Monarchs of 1991 World American Football League advanced 28-21 over the All-American Football Conference Cleveland Browns. I'd like to say thank you to John Wise, World's Worst Gamer. Uh, Big Polly's World of Sports Sim. Check out that wonderful channel. Super Bowl Tournament. Check out his channel. Of course, Pro Strategy Football. Um, uh, Dave Gardner, thank you very much. Check out his wonderful channel, Digital of Dice. And we had someone who gave us soccer updates. Thank you. I can't pronounce that language. And Jake Cruz, so thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm done. Stay safe, be smart, treat people the way you want to be treated. God bless. I greatly appreciate your time. All that good stuff. Check out the other wonderful content creators in the community. And you know what's coming, folks.